Hello everyone. So today is day number 23 of the advent of cyber from TriHackMe. And I hope you guys had a great time throughout this series and throughout this event. I really enjoyed it. So let's have a good day and jump onto the desktop and have some fun. All right, guys. So here we are on day number 23. So we're going to be learning about some authentication attacks, right? So the learning objectives is going to be about network shares, understanding, you know, different, uh, different authentications, such as today, we're going to be learning about LTLM. So how the authentication works, the attacks work, how responder works, when we put ourselves in the middle of a connection and listen to uh, hashes coming into a authentication. And obviously, we'll, we'll learn what, it, what it's all about today. Forcing authentication using a link file. That's awesome. That's always fun. And this is th this should be a good one. I like this way better than SSRF. I was so lost in that. I'm going to be honest. This is more up my alley because it's more networking. All right. So obviously, the introduction of the LTLM authentication. You guys can check that out. Sharing is caring. That's why we're making these videos, right? Sharing is caring. And authentication, L uh, NTLM uh, authentication. So day 11, you know, you also did the Active Directory one. I think that was uh, David. So kudos to David to for making that video. He's amazing. So let's keep going down here. So a user, you know, an application user goes into a server, right? And it goes into a domain controller. So that domain controller authenticates that user for the hash, the ticket and all that stuff. So you can learn more about that probably in some other in, in some other rooms in try hack me so you can go check that out so responding to the race right using responder so what is responder doing it allows you to perform a man in the middle attack by poisoning responses during an you know lt a net uh, ntlm authentication right tricking a client into talking to you instead of the actual server right so that's a man in the middle so let's go ahead and, and you can go ahead and look at deeper dives into breaching AD rooms. So let's keep going down. Let's see what we got here. All right. So let's just start the, uh, start the process. Let's go ahead and open up the command prompt here. And we got a CD to, let's just CD to root. To rooms, uh, rooms, roots, rooms, uh, AOC. AOC 2023, uh, day number 23, and then L. Okay, so let's do an LS here. Okay, we got some stuff here. We have this man in the middle or man in the middle, LTLM. Let's cat that out real quick. I'm curious to see what this is all about. So this is going to just create some stuff, I assume. Let's see. Uh, let's, I'm curious to see what this is actually doing. This is doing a lot. All right, I'm not going to go through that right now. I'll check that offline. If you guys want to see what's going on, you guys can do that. So let's do Python 3. And then the L. So what we're going to be doing here is creating the link, right? So let's do dash G. Or if you're going to do dash H, if you don't know what you're doing, like me half the time. So Jacob, thank you so much for creating this uh, Green Wolf. So you can see the different uh, versions here, uh, different options, sorry. All right, so let's go ahead and do the G and we're gonna go ahead and do link and dash S for the, now we need the attacker. In my case, it's 10.10.148.211, okay? And then we're gonna be stealthy, right? So F, stealthy. I can spell, I'm the worst speller, really am, All right? So now we can do an LS, now we have this. Let's CD to stealthy. LS. Now we have that link there. Perfect. Okay, cool deal. So let's go ahead and keep going down. Create the stealthy. Yes, it did. So now we CD to there. So now what we're going to be doing is doing SMB client. We're going to be authenticating through an anonymous account through guest. And we can just do a copy and paste, but let's go ahead and just do a, you know what? I'm going to copy and paste because I'm lazy. I know, you know, people say to type it out, but I'm not in the mood to type it out today. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's do DIR, see where we're at. Oh, gritty keys. All right. So we'll probably have to get that because that's probably, I don't know if that's a key, like a flag, or if that's like a word list to authenticate or something else, but we'll get to that shortly. So now we have to put up the stealthy uh, link that we actually created. So let's go ahead and just make sure I don't 
Now let me just, where is that thing? Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go ahead and copy this. And I know I could have probably just typed that out, but go ahead and put that up there and just do I DIR. And now we can see that it's went from our attack machine that we created it to the server or to the server, right? So now we can go ahead and open up a new tab, right? Now we just have to start listening and responder. Let's go ahead and open up a new terminal. And what well, you know what? Let let me open up a new tab instead, so we can do everything. So let's do responder and the interface. So let's do a IPA really quick. Whoops, IPA. So it's saying on e, uh, ENS5. So that's going to be the interface that I'm listening on here. So that's cool with me. So let's go ahead and clear that out. Do re responder dash I for interface and my interface is ENS5. Cool deal. So now that's going to listen in. And obviously, if you're using the VPN, you're going to use the tunnel, obviously, right? Because you're not going to be. So now uh, let's, this might take a few minutes. So get a hot cho chocolate. All right, cool. I have my green tea. I, I like green tea. I'm, I'm like addicted to it. So let's see. But we should take back. All right. So less than five minutes. So we'll let this thing cook. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and get the gritty keys. Let's come back here. Let's go ahead and get the gritty keys. Let me just copy and paste so I don't. I don't uh, make any mistakes. Let's go ahead and get that here. Then we can exit here and then clear this out. LS, we have gritty keys. Let's cat that out. Let's see what's cooking in here. All right, so it looks like there's a whole bunch of keys in here, a whole bunch of passwords. Yeah, so it makes sense. So we're going to probably get that hash. We're going to make a, ha we're going to compromise that hash or capture the hash, make a nano or make a file. We can import that hash into a file. And then we're going to go ahead and use this uh, with John the Ripper, as you see here, with the gritty's key. And then we can name it hash.txt. And then we can go cracking. And then once we get the password, then we I'm guessing in here, take control, use uh, through RDP. So we can do, I don't like RDP. That's me personally. I can just, you know, we can use different kind of techniques, but we'll get into that shortly. So let's see what this is cooking. We'll let this do its thing and return once this is good. I'll be back in a sec. All right, so here we go. Now we have the hash that we need, right? We see it right here, the hash and the username for administrator. So now what we can do is copy this. Let's go ahead and go all the way to the end, copy. And now we can come up here and we can make a new nano we can do hash.txt right so now we can just paste that here do a control x yes y enter and now we do an ls now we have this hash so we can cat hash just to make sure if i can spell all right we do have the hash there so now what we can do is use john the ripper to crack that hash so let's go ahead and use john copy and paste it here hit enter and boom we have it right here so what is that greedy grabber greedy grabber let me copy this because i can't even see this let me copy this and bring this to, let me open up like sublime that's fine uh no who cares all right so let's go ahead and paste that here so we can make this bigger too just so i can see it because i'm blind i'm getting old all right so now we can start answering these questions, okay? So let's go ahead and give these, uh, these, give these things a shot. All right, first, before we do that, let's go ahead and, I guess we almost forgot this last part. So now we can utilize these credentials to authenticate. So let's do remote desktop. So what we can do is go to file, not file up here, applications. And let's go ahead and, let me see what they have. Oh, they have from, okay, good. So let's go ahead and click on here and cancel this. The RDP, uh, what is my IP address uh, to, to, to do what we're going to be RDP and two. Let's come all the way back up here. And my IP address is 10.10.157.211. So let's go ahead and paste that. Oh, look, that boy T. Damn, I'm gonna have to check your video out after. Awesome, dude. You're killing it. I have to have you on the channel. But uh, let's go ahead and go, come back down here. Let's go ahead and hit enter here. All right. So now, yeah, we can authenticate so now thank god i put this here let's go ahead and use this username 
I'm just going to follow what they're doing. So let's do administrator. Administrator. And then the password. And then let's hit OK. We can also use uh, Evil Win RM. There's a whole bunch of different ways to authenticate. Let's go ahead and just hit this bad boy here so we can bring this full screen. All right, so now we have, let's go back down, see, what, see what's cooking. So pretty much now we can just double click this. Oh, that's the, that's the keys, I'm an idiot. Let's go to desktop. That's probably where I sent flag. Okay, cool, so now this is the flag. All right, so now let's go ahead and answer these bad boys. So what is the name of the AD authentication protocol that makes use of a ticket? So anytime you're making a ticket, it's using something called Kobros, right? So let's go ahead and see if that's what the answer is here. Cobro, Kobros. I think that's how you spell it. If not, I would have Googled that. I'm the worst speller. I'm not good at spelling. All right. So what is the name of the AD authentication protocol used for the LTLM hash? So it's going to be net L and TLM and TLM. So the network of the LTLM. All right, so what? let's see, what is the name of the tool intercept these, so that's going to be Responder, right? R-E-S-P-O-N-D-E-R. Okay, perfect. So what is the password that, all right, so that's, this is going to be the password. Let's, uh, this is going to be the, this, let's just copy this really quick. So we can just get, oh, Jesus. Oh, I, I have the password. Let me do that. I'm an idiot. All right, so let me come here, do control V, copy this, and then paste this here. Boom. Awesome. This is day 23. It is complete. I'll see you in the last day. Wah, wah, wah. I'm really actually sad. It was really fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow in the last day, Christmas Eve. Much love. Take care.